Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to learn about a new module called Glob. I don't know if you've run across this before, but we've been poking around a little bit with DOS, right? And I don't know how much you know about DOS and directories and searching for files and things like that. Well, glob is very similar to that so let's just jump right in but if you're new here uh, thanks for watching um, very important that you click the subscribe button and most important the notification bell because we do have videos every single day um, I think we're gonna be able to do that for uh, a little while longer before we change anything but small little videos that we build upon so that being said let's just jump into it all right, so dir on glob, and also a super important note um, about us here. If there's something that I'm not talking about, I'm not speaking about, I have made a video for it beforehand. So there isn't anything that is new that I'm going over that I that we have not talked about, so, and everything is searchable. So all right. Okay, so we're going to look right now at glob.glob. .glob. Awesome, right? Uh, here we go. Glob. Oh, there it is. Glob.glob. Glob.glob. .glob. Glob so, okay. Returns a list of paths matching path patterns. So, all right just like our open um, function that we learned about. If you're in the directory where you are, so if you leave out any subdirectory or directory information, it's just gonna search. So all right, now this folder that we're in has a ton of stuff, but let's just, let's just jump right into it. So all right, here we go. So for those of you who do know a little bit about um, those of you who are older or have messed around with DOS, let's just look at this. Glob dot glob. So, all right, everything needs to be a string. Who knows star dot star? So, all right, this returns a list. So this is everything in this you can't see it, but in this directory that ends in, it's just the same as yours. So, all right, now, this is where this gets cool. So, okay, let's say I only want to see everything ending in a text file. So, now, now we're getting, now we're getting kind of interesting. So, now, glob dot glob. Let's look at just Python extensions. Star dot py. Remember? Oh, what I forget? There. Look at all these. And then let's see anything. What is another? Ah, okay. Glob dot glob. Star dot, uh, what was it? EXE files. EXE files. So I got two, two right here. There's my Python executable and another one. And oh, I know what I wanted to look for. Are we've, we've used CSV files. So let's do that. So you, you get, you get the gist of this. And what I forget, star dot CSV, close it out, and here we go. Now let's look at something else. So, all right, here's here's one of my, so you can get the idea, and don't want to get too far into something that we're going to work on more with regular expressions there's some really cool stuff coming I know I've done one video on it but all right this is what uh, so forget the one that has a ton of stuff so okay dot 
star. All right, any guesses what this is gonna do? This is going to return any file that starts with a G. So these are a little bit, if you've touched on and if you've worked with um, some of the awesome things that DOS can do. But I thought that would be a pretty, pretty cool video and a really cool um, module that is not too readily known about. But like always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and most important, that notification bell. But also, please leave any comments, questions, video requests, anything that maybe I haven't explained because there are a couple of you out there that um, have really asked for some pretty cool stuff and some really, really awesome video ideas. So I want to say thank you and um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye guys.